Joining us today is Michael and Megan with the Red Cross. How are you both doing? We're doing Very great. well, thank you. Great, it is so good to have you both here. Uh, tell us a little bit about your roles. We'll start with you. So I'm the executive director and we have a seven county chapter in the Eastern South Carolina chapter. We cover Marlboro, Chesterfield, Darlington, Dillon, Florence, Marion and Horry counties. So I lead the humanitarian side and support our biomed division. Interesting, and yeah. you, Megan? And so I'm the account manager for the American Red Cross. So I pretty much set up all the blood drives in Horry County, Marion County, Florence County. Um, and I go out and educate on the need for blood and really try to get people to come out and donate. Wow, that is exceptional. I am just so excited to have you both on Living Local and to learn more about the organization and how you're helping our community. So Michael, we are in the peak of hurricane season. We were talking about me just kind of coming through this way not long ago. What do we have to do to be ready? Right, so the Red Cross has a three-pillared approach. The first is to, to get a kit. So put together the items that you're gonna need uh, to, to withstand a hurricane. So that could be the emergency supplies, make sure you have a first aid kit, batteries, bottled water, uh, you know, a couple gallons per person per day that you think you'll be out. Um, if you have a generator, make sure you practice, you know, good safety with your generator, you know, not back feeding the electrical grid. Um, don't overload it, make sure that the the exhaust is not in your garage, it's external exhaust, so you're not, you know, carbon monoxide is not a factor. Um, once you get your kit prepared, then you need to make a plan. Um, here in Horry County, a lot of our area along the Grand Strand is a mandatory evacuation zone. And so, and so when the governor declares that state of emergency and orders an evacuation, uh, you need to know what zone you're in and what is your proper designated evacuation route. If you go to the Horry County website under uh, hurricane preparedness, there is a about a 16-page book. It's called Know Your Zone. It's an excellent resource. It talks about getting your kit, making the plan, knowing your zone. You know, they'll turn roads into, you know, what normally is a, a two-lane road going both directions. They'll turn it into a signal direction to help people evacuate out of Horry County in the, in the Grand Strand area. And then while you're evacuating, if you don't know exactly where you're to go, if you have our Red Cross emergency app, we are the state's partner agency will set up tw up to 22 evacuation shelters for residents coming out of the Grand Strand that don't have a place to go, you know, don't want to you know, go to a hotel, they can go to one of our 22 evacuation shelters. And those shelters will be, uh, there'll be pin drops on the map so they can find where the nearest shelter is. Their shelters are staffed by our Red Cross trained individuals, third party organizations and the Department of Social Services. So you'll have your evacuation plan and then the last is to stay informed. Mm -hmm. So you'll listen to you know key players like WBTW are yes. going to provide excellent <laughs> weather forecasting through their Viper 13 weather uh, service and listen to them and listen to the governor's orders, follow those plans so they can be stay informed, stay safe. What are some of the stories? Do you have any stories of just citizens and them being ready, not being ready? Anything you can think of to kind of share with us today? Well, you know, there's gonna be a point where, you know, during a hurricane, first responders are not gonna respond. And that's why the governor says, this area must evacuate. You know, there's a reason for that because first responders are not gonna come during that, that phase of, of the intense storm activity in the evacuation zone. Wow. So Megan, how are you feeling about, you know, being prepared mm -hmm. for these disasters, specifically hurricane? I mean, what have you done to prepare? Yeah. Well, okay. Uh, I <laughs> I'm so guilty of not really, I mean, I do have my hurricane preparedness kit. I do have a place to go. Um, but, you know, on the blood side, we also have to think about being prepared. If we do evacuate, everything is going to shut down. So that means we will not have blood drives. We won't be collecting blood. So we need to stop and think about it now and be prepared on the blood side as well. Um, you know, people just don't realize that, that it, it has this big tr um, trickle down effect. If something does shut down, what do we do? We can't manufacture blood. So we need people to think about it now and come out and donate. Nice. Thank you both yes. so much Thank for stopping you. by. Thank you.